let's look at this uh, numerical dealing with uh, the uniform distribution of depth i want to find out the value of 1.75 p 45.5 right we have uh, seen earlier first of all all these things can quite comfortably be computed if i bring them within the scope of that particular year which means okay 45.5 first let me finish off to 46 which means 45.5 i'll take 0.5 p 45.5 so by that time the person has reached 46 so this is 45.5 to 1.4 which is nothing but 47.25 years so again i'll take it up to 47 1 p 46 so by now he has got 47 years so 47 being alive for another 0.25 years so this this whole problem of 1.75 p 45.5 i can break it into these three parts and now we can very well go with the different formulas this one will become So one minus of point two pi q forty seven, which will become one minus of point two pi times q forty seven, because we know the relationship t q x. If t is lesser than one, it is nothing but t times q x. The same logic I am applying here. 0.5 q 47. I'm writing it as point. Sorry, 0.2 pi q 47. I'm writing it as 0.2 pi times q 47. Okay, so I can find out uh, q 47. First of all, for this numerical, I can find out q 47 from what table? This is AM 92 Ultimate Table. Right, I'll uh, find out from the AM ninety two ultimate table the Q forty seven. Q forty seven is coming out to point zero zero one eight zero two. So, which means point two five Q forty seven is going to be a point two five times this number, and on the top of it, the third term for me. Is nothing but one minus of point two five times q forty seven. That's the third term. Second term is p forty six. P forty six directly comes out as one minus q forty six, right? So I'll directly uh, take q forty six from the same table. If I take q forty six. It is point zero zero one six two two, so which means the second term, which is p forty six, even that is known right now, which is one minus of q forty six, which gives me point nine nine eight three whatever. Then what about the first one? If you remember, it if you remember. Uh, uh, P minus s, P x plus s, right? Uh, this we have said it is T minus s times T minus uh, s times uh, One point. So this I am writing it as a point uh, t minus s times q x divided by one minus s q x. So here I could very well write this uh, part as one minus point five p. This is t minus s q x q x plus s. So I am writing this as uh, first of all p. 0.5 p 45.5. First of all, I'll write it as 1 minus of 0.5 q 45.5, and this part I will write it as 
t minus s 0.5 times q 45 divided by 1 minus 0.5 q 45 right so this is what i am going to write which means i require q 45 as well q 45 is 0 0.001465 so first term the first term i am going to write it as 1 minus of 0.5 times q45 divided by 1 minus of 0.5 times q45 so this whole number is working out to 0 0.99267 which means whatever is the required 1.75 p 47 or 45.5 is working out as the multiplication of these three parts the first up to 46 second up to 47 third up to 47.25 resulting in 0.997197 that's the simple way we can uh, go ahead in terms of computation of uniform distribution of deaths, right?